Hi guys, welcome back to Lens Day Wednesday, uh, the last one in the macro lens series for the uh, for this month. This is the MPE 65mm. Now this is quite a strange lens, it's brutally expensive, uh, it really really is astonishing. This isn't just a macro lens, this is what we would classify as a micro lens. If you need to do super 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 tiny stuff beyond the regular range of a macro lens, you're prepared to forego automatic focus, this is the baby for you. This baby allows you to do up to what we call five to one macro ratio. Now five to one essentially means that the subject on the sensor is five times bigger than it is in real life. Now that is absolutely incredible. And what you often find with this lens is almost impossible to handhold. The proximity from your lens front to the actual subject can almost be down to millimeters. I've seen photographs with the subject actually inside that little indentation. Um, that's how tiny it is. If you've got a tripod with a decent focusing rail which allows the lens to glide forwards and backwards in very, very, very tiny movements, that's what you absolutely, absolutely have to have in order to get the best value out of this lens. As I said, manual focus and look at that range of scope as you're turning that lens um, it is absolutely utterly astonishing nice clear gu guidance on the on the lens itself in terms of one times two times up to five times magnification that is really 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 astonishing the vast majority of people would get the sort of magnification they want and then just glide the lens forwards and backwards till they get uh, the, the area of focus that they want in focus it is an f 2.8 which is pretty much okay for the majority of types of situation. Overwhelmingly, macro photography is done at the other end of the scale, F8, 11, 16, etc. If you're doing a lot of stacking for macro, micro, insect kind of photography, absolutely beautiful. The, 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 the really, 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 really micro kind of work. It's an interesting lens, I must admit, um, I haven't used it a hell of a lot. I took a couple of pictures purely for this episode just to try it out, just to see what it does. And it's pretty damn scary. It comes at a price, make no mistake, it's not a cheap lens by any stretch of the imagination. Fits and works on all of our full frame and EFS lenses as you, could, as you can imagine. And again, that five to one ratio on an EFS crop looks even bigger. It actually looks like a seven to one. And that is pretty damn astonishing when you're looking at micro work. So this is really good for scientific type of ap applications. If you're doing very, very interesting stuff, uh, looking at not just an insect, looking at insects eyeballs, for example, that's the one to do. It has that little clip on ring at the front there. So for macro lights, the, the twin flash and the ring flash, they clip on there automatically, which is pretty damn handy. Uh, and that's essentially all I have to say on that subject, other than if that's what you want to do, if micro is what you want to go for, this is pretty much the only one on the market that offers a five to one macro aspect ratio, I think it's called. Anyway. You can do your, your research on that online if you want to. But that's all I need to tell you about this baby. Interesting piece of glass. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah.